What is going on guys? Hope you're having a great day so far. Um, in my last couple videos, I spoke a lot about something that I've been doing recently with a new brand that I started and then with a lot of client brands. And that is running the pixel through some lower funnel events to hopefully give the metrics a bit of a boost and give all your creatives a fair shot instead of just absolutely throttling your CPMs day one and uh, just giving you horrible audience buckets. And it's worked fairly well. I've already made videos on, you know, like before, after, same ads before after same ads um, this is kind of the campaign sequence and then before after metric wise same exact ads and a lot of you guys are naturally asking how, how do you how do you do this what kind of campaigns do you run um, how do you set it up what kind of budgets what does it look like day by day what kind of ads do you do it with so in this video i'm going to be answering all of those questions and um, i just released a full sop top to bottom on the exact system we use for this to my coaching discord so if you want access to that and you want to work with me more personally click the first link in the description to apply to the only coaching agency that is one coach me two group calls every single week one-on-one -on -one calls with me unlimited time you can ask me as many questions as you'd like as you can see our system is already working uh pretty well and bennett told me personally he really liked this pixel warm-up system and then we can scroll up a bit day one launching my purchase campaign after warming up my pixel 130 dollars product by the way um, crazy in order just on an initiate checkout campaign it's so the last sequence in this warm-up process uh, you get an order from a non-purchase campaign so Working pretty well for the people I'm working with personally. If you want to be one of those people, first link in the description. Now let's get into the actual sequence you're going to want to run for campaigns here. So first and foremost, as far as budget set aside for this, you're going to want to set aside around $100 is a pretty good amount. There's no one budget, but this is a pretty good number, I'd say. I spent a bit more on my initial uh, run of this just because I wanted to be a little bit more thorough, but budget $100 and then the length, so like how long is this going to take? probably if everything goes according to plan around four days of course you can always run it uh, shorter if you hit kpis beforehand but uh, kpis so kpis you want to hit to hit before you switch to purchase let's go through this kpis to hit before you switch to purchases so kpis key performance indicators what do we want to hit so we want to hit 50 add to cart events. This is gonna be the most difficult. This should check out 20. And then like view content, not a big deal, really just 100, not a big deal at all. Um, shouldn't take you more than 10 bucks to hit that, nothing crazy at all. But as far as budget length and the KPIs to hit, make sure you have this in mind because this is extremely important. Um, this add to cart range here is pulled directly from a meta article stating that this is when meta begins to build a decent buyer profile on at least who's willing to add to cart. This is just a number that I personally found good. This is it's just my opinion. And then again, just my opinion. The only set in stone number here is add to cart. Um, so budget length, KPIs to hit, really cool. Now, as far as the sequence, let's get into day one. So day one is going to be extremely easy. Day one is going to be a landing page view campaign. Now, a couple important notes here. Make sure to select sales and your sales objective. Don't click traffic. If you click traffic, you're going to botch everything. Traffic does literally nothing for you. You want to make sure everything is still in your sales tab. So make sure to select sales in your sales objective and then underneath conversion event, just a few content. Very, very, very simple. Everything is going to be run in a CBO campaign. Everything. I found that to be easiest. I'm sure it wouldn't matter if you did an ABO, but CBO. Now this one is going to have a $10 budget, super small budget because it's a very, uh, it's, it's not a very demanding um, auction, if you know what I mean. If you don't already know, advertising works like an auction. The more demanding the conversion event, the harder it's going to be to A, get your results for that conversion event, and B, get decent delivery quality. So decent engagement, CPM, so on and so forth. Uh, landing page views, just view content. This is the least demanding auction you can enter. So we're gonna do a very small budget. It's almost guaranteed to work. Like you're going to get a 15, 20 cent cost per click. If you don't, 
big issue. That brings us to our KPI though. KPI, after one day, 100 plus clicks, which you should hit this very easily. This is, this should not be hard. Now that reminds me, um, types of creatives to run. Now I haven't extensively tested a ton of creatives for this system. I really haven't. I've ran one style. I have ran native. I've ran native photos, quite literally just a, let me go ahead and just make a little note here. Creative style. Do this. Pick three creatives. You can do five if you want. I did three at first. Pick three creatives. You will use these three creatives for every single step. You might end up switching them up when you switch to purchase, and I'll explain to you how to do that. But as far as landing page view, add to cart, and I see, just the same three creatives. And what I did, and you can do, I'm sure, whatever you want, but I'll tell you what I did. I made mine extremely native, meaning they look like they belong on the platform. It was a <clears throat> it was a visual of the product, that's it. And then the visual that I used in particular was extremely scroll stopping. So it was a visual without giving too much away that made people wanna stop and look. And then a lot of the selling was done. Let me just go ahead and write this here. Selling done in the primary text. So a lot of the copy was written in the primary text. This is the kind of creative that I ran um, for at least the LPV, add to cart, and then IC campaign. So I suggest you make three, use them for literally everything. It's what I did. This is very simple. Day one, LPV, just make sure you select sales, don't use traffic, view content, $10 budget, let it run for one day. You should get 100 plus clicks. Your CPM should be below 30 bucks, honestly below 20 bucks. Um, if it isn't, you got big problems. You got bigger problems than this. So this is very simple. Now, day two, this is where we kind of start to ramp it up a bit. Remember how I said that every uh, conversion event is, is a different auction and some are more demanding than others. So day two is going to be add to cart campaign. And while this is not the most demanding auction at all, and it is still quite easy, it's going to be harder to achieve a low cost per click and low CPMs than a LPV campaign is because this is a lot more competitive. While the bulk of sellers aren't running add to cart campaigns, they're running purchase campaigns, there are still more people running add to cart than LPV. So it's more competitive, simple, right? Still make sure you just like sales and your sales objective. I don't know how else you would do it. Conversion event add to cart, CBO, same creatives, $30 budget. Quite literally duplicate this campaign and change the budget and republish it. You're good. KPI, uh, this is going to be ran for two days, by the way. So KPI, after one day, you're going to want to look for a cost per click under $1. Let me honestly format it like this, because there's a few KPIs to hit here. CPM, depending on your niche, but usually under like 40 bucks, just normal CPM. And then this is important, cost per add to cart, day one should be in between five to nine dollars. Decently high, but super good early signals, um, letting you know that Meta is find, finding potential buyers for you, or at least people who are potentially willing to add to cart. Super simple, day two, add to cart campaign. Now, day three is going to be the same thing. You're not gonna touch it. Again, just add to cart campaign. Same thing, same thing, same thing. KPI after two days, and this is important. Same thing, CPC under a dollar, CPC under 40, cost per add to cart should dip from four to nine to three to five dollars. Cool. If you can hit both of these after two days, you should reach these initial KPIs. And I know what you're wondering, Adam, I'm, I'm doing the math on this. This doesn't add up if you do the cost per add to cart based on the spend on the budget. This doesn't add up to 50. What you'll find is that the event count shown in your event manager is inflated compared to what's shown in your ad manager. If you don't already know, um, you should be looking at all of these in your events manager, not just off your ad manager. Ad managers have a lot of issues and uh, the event manager is tracked in an inflated way typically. So if, if we look at the event manager here, all these are inflated, inflated, all these are inflated. Um, I had some tracking issues with this bottom screenshot. So that was actually the opposite. It got reverse inflated. It didn't track a crap ton of events, but um, this top one still inflated. So at this top one, when it says 375 add to carts, it was probably closer to 150 to 160. 
it's inflated and that is totally fine and that is completely normal uh, when you're trying to understand when you're hitting these look in your events manager do not look in your ads manager because ads managers can have issues also they cannot track they can deduplicate a lot of issues just judge based off your event manager if you hit this goal you should be close to 50 add to cars and if you have 47 if you have 48 and you're like oh i need to run another day for 30 bucks no you don't it's fine you're completely good um just make sure you hit these kpis again if you're if you miss this by five or, or six add to carts it's totally fine it's not going to break everything this is just a simple warm-up this isn't guaranteeing anything and this isn't going to be destroyed by missing a kpi by by three um, but these two are going to be the hardest for you to achieve on day two if you hit these kpis you're probably going to start seeing some initiate checkouts which is an extremely good sign which brings us to day four day three and then copy paste day four is going to be your initiate checkout campaign and same exact thing it's a slightly more demanding auction but you're going to be dropping the budget down to 20 again it's duplicate this change the budget change the conversion event and republish we're gonna be dropping this down to 20 because it's 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 a weird event it's kind of like a middleman uh, event between add to cart and purchase it's not as important i'd be willing to say or at least i haven't seen it uh, be as important as, as as these two days here so we're just dropping it down and we just want to see a cost per initiate checkout of around five to ten dollars no big deal if you get lower congratulations that's awesome but uh, same thing cost per click under a dollar cpm under 40 again each of these days uh, except for these two so like each each event one two three you're going to see these metrics inflate a little bit and that's totally normal remember more demanding auction equals inflated metrics completely fine so this is uh the sequence here now a couple questions i want to address one okay what if i run this adam and i don't hit these kpis okay, i have to try new creatives this is also a great um, time to kind of figure out what creatives work best engagement wise and even buying intent wise so that is why this budget that i put here hundred dollars could be higher could be because if you mess this up and your creatives suck sorry you know you have to test more that's going to cost you more so uh, just putting that out there but i promise you it's not hard to hit these kpis like you don't need a1 creatives to complete in the to compete in the, the most competitive auction you don't this is not the most competitive auction you should get uh hand fed pretty pretty uh, quality people for this conversion event purchase is where you're gonna have to do most of the testing but i can real quickly cover day five purchase and some things that could happen and and what's normal and what's not normal so day five you'll be on purchase right congratulations you had all the kpis your pixel has some uh lower event funnels inside of it done done cbo 50 dollar budget always up at the 50 kpis so kpis aren't set in stone for this i'll tell you mine Cost per click under $2 is what I deem to be good. CPM, again, depending on your niche, I'll bump this up to like 60. And then your add to carts, you should see buying intent day one. Cost per purchase, you don't always have to get purchases day one. If you know anything about media buying, you know you don't have to. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of any purchase expectations. It's completely realistic and honestly not hard to get purchases day one, but don't be scared if you don't, if your uh, metrics are in line with this. We can also add you know, like CTR above industry average industry average of two percent obviously i i personally deem um two percent ctr a little low but that's industry average so who am i to judge i should have totally just made another just made another bullet point but i didn't um okay cool so you hit these nice you're in a pretty good spot um you do want to see some buying intent day one at the least so some buying intent is important to note you don't want zero add to carts some buying intent if you get purchased congratulations but what's entirely possible is this could just go horribly wrong you could upload a purchase campaign and your metrics could be awful your cpm should still be decent if that's bad you got bigger problems but if your cost per click is abysmally high if your ctr is super low and you get no buying intent that's just directly telling you that your creatives were barely enough to get you past these campaigns so the second you uploaded it into the most competitive auction on the advertising platform, it, it got butchered. It just, it, it did not deliver. That's fine. 
start testing new creatives. And no, you don't have to run new creatives through this again. This is a one-time thing. Please do not treat this, treat this like this is some insane new magic method. This has been around for years. I'm just kind of bringing it back to light because it does help a bit. And, and that's, that's the point. It helps a bit. That's what it does. You still need incredible creatives. This is not going to be your saving grace from getting good at copywriting, from getting good at graphic design. You're still going to have to do it. Um, but it, it just helps a little bit. So if your creatives on day five do horribly, just be aware that they were enough to compete in these auctions and they got absolutely destroyed when your competitors came in day five because our competitors are in this uh, auction. Odds are your competitors are not in here. It's free reign. You can, you can just come take the best customers. Here, free for all. You have to have incredible creatives to even get half decent customers. So keep that in mind. It's not broken. It, it's not that it doesn't work. You can't say this doesn't work. It kind of, it's not even my opinion. It's just in meta articles. This does something for you. Um, it is just a bit time intensive and, and it costs a little bit. It has a little upfront investment of 100, 150 bucks. So um, that's the only way I could see somebody not wanting to do this. Um, but brand new pixel, in my opinion, should always be doing this. It's definitely what I'm going to start doing. I did it once and it worked well. So there's that. Um, Anything else for a purchase campaign? I don't think so. The only thing that could really go wrong is engagement could just do absolutely horrible. Um, in that case, cycle of new creatives. Pretty simple. Um, that's pretty surface level covering the sequence. I'm trying to think if there's any other questions that I was asked in my comments. Um, I can quickly fire off a few obvious questions. One, if you have a brand that's already you know, getting some order volume and it's doing well and it's on an older pixel, there's no benefit to you doing this whatsoever. The only reason you're doing this is to saturate your pixel with some events to help out a bit. If you already have events, this does nothing for you. It's not going to recalibrate anything. It's not going to um, re-optimize anything. It'll do nothing. You don't have to do it for an established uh, pixel. Brand new day one cold pixel, this is helpful. That is the only scenario in which this is helpful. Every time you, you publish a new purchase campaign, you don't have to do this again one-time thing just understand what it is and what it does it's not magic it's just media buying it's not magic anything um and i obviously i i i tried this out myself and it worked quite well and then i brought it to my coaching discord and it's working for most people there it's getting people who've never gotten purchases their first sales it's a great way to almost guarantee what well, guarantees a fair shot at, at your creatives uh getting shown to at least you know slightly better quality customers and it almost guarantees some buying intent and, and even a sale so if you've never gotten a sale before if you're legitimately brand new um, try this out it will make a difference i know it will but don't expect it to carry your product you need to be good at this for this to matter but this is the setup i think it's a lot simpler than you guys thought it would be but sometimes the simplest things need the most explaining so uh Yep, uh, I, I pretty much put all this into a super extensive SOP. So again, if you want that and you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, click the first link in the description to get all the little ins and outs, all the little nuances that you can get throughout all these days. And of course, I'll be there with you to um, help you within day one through five. But this is a super good overview. If you just want to screenshot this and use it, go ahead. Uh, this was the breakdown. If you guys have any questions about this, just comment them and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.